hi guys in this video we'll be doing a sort of cross comparison between hand coding solutions versus ETL tools and we're going to have a deeper look into the situation if your requirement is an ETL tool or your business requirements comply with getting a custom code solution before moving on I think some of you may not be aware of this ETL uh, term and ETL stands for extract transform load and this is a terminology in data warehousing and this is mainly be used for data integration so generally medium or large sized enterprises they have the data scattered across different sources for example if we see the snapshot in this on the screen so we have a lot of different sources like files or maybe databases or maybe cloud data warehouses and we have our data quite split everywhere and we want to extract that data and consolidate that data in a single warehouse and for that we use the transformations uh, where we combine and merge data from different sources and afterwards we load the data into a single or multiple data warehouses or maybe files but this process is quite uh, quite important because companies are applying this process and afterwards when they have the clean data in data warehouse that's afterward used for reporting purposes which is the key to making business decisions so we need to figure out if ETL tools that are completely GUI based they are going to be helpful for your business cases for example we have talent we have informatica we have uh, Matillion from Amazon we have a uh, SQL Server integration services so do we use these or should we opt out for or should we go on for hand coding solutions in which we can use any of the programming languages like C++, Java or Python and we develop the ETL solutions completely from scratch using programming so Rick Sherman he said in many companies data integration remains a manual task by choice but it might be the time to automate that process and for sure this is required in all the subsequent stages so there are so many different dimensions which are needed to be analyzed before before we make a decision if we need to go out for ETL tool or if we need to go out for a custom code solution and those dimensions include number one collaboration for big projects a lot of collaboration is required uh, optimization of the solutions then how much money the company is willing to pay deployment of the solutions monitoring and controlling then we have time the development time we have project reusability we have the maintenance of the current solutions ongoing support then we have the testing of the developed solutions we have documentation very critical and important then we have the overall management of the development of the solutions then we have plans if it's going to be a short-term plan or a long-term plan big project or small projects we need to figure out and ultimately how much updates or how frequent updates we're going to make for our solutions so custom codes if you're using then the deployment costs decrease by minus uh, decrease by 20 percent but on the other hand the maintenance that's going to increase dramatically and almost 200 percent because you need to then put a lot of time on figuring out where the changes are to be made where the code is needed to be enhanced ongoing support and maintenance it's a quite hectic task so one question you may need to ask yourself does my development team have the expertise to do this using custom coding especially when you're moving migrating to new technologies like Hadoop or Apache Spark or uh, or maybe any cloud platform then if you're using the custom coding solutions then your team needs to be trained for that then are going to spend a lot of time uh, getting the process from scratch and if you have an ETL tool then most of the things are already incorporated in the built-in components you just need to start from uh, a high level so if we have small projects or maybe we have big projects small projects require less maintenance and support and for sure big projects they require a lot of enhancements and maintenance and support and ongoing monitoring so for small projects 
you can go on with the custom coding solutions. They are easy and I would say they are quite fast to implement right away. For big projects, use ETL tools because they're not ETL. There are a lot of different packages and services that are coming on with ETL and this will make the life easy. In regards to collaboration, if you're using ETL tools, so you have prior development reusability of much of the code and especially the visualized environment or maybe the visual design readability that's quite better in ETL tools. So it's quite easy to split up the tasks between different members of the team. So if we have a hand coding solution, then the development time could be quite high. It can be days, months or weeks. And on the other hand, if we have an ETL solution, then not only ETL, but we have uh, different services like data profiling, data quality, data preparation, and all of them are GUI based ETL services, which literally make the life easy and it helps to get the work done in hours instead of long spans of time. So for custom coding, we have uh, to keep in mind that we must need a custom infrastructure where we need to develop the deployment environment, the monitoring, the controlling, everything needs to be set up from scratch and we're responsible for getting uh, to, to keep an eye on this and to keep it up and running and the uh, deployment process process is quite complicated so m in many cases companies need to export their solutions and then they deploy it somewhere and then they have different tools so like in order to get one thing they have they're using three different tools and testing debugging that's quite hectic there's expensive optimization uh, for making enhancements or changes in the code companies spend a lot of time in figuring out where to do the changes inside the code code is difficult to read and there we have ETL solutions ETL infrastructure it comes with a package so you have complete deployment monitoring services that are coming in with ETL solutions and deployment is available only with just one click. You click it and that's it. The data is the, the ETL solution is in the cloud. It's It can be then scheduled and monitored. We have built-in testing and debugging in ETL solutions. And in general, ETL solutions, it forbids bad practices. So it only allows those data flows which are not very complex in regards to computing and if you're writing a program or doing hand coding then you can do whatever you want it won't forbid you in etl tools they make sure to get it implemented so documentation so most of the etl tools they are coming with some sort of self-documentation which provides a good explanation of the overall data flows that are flowing between different integration jobs ultimately it reveals a big picture and I would say maybe a big portion of documentation is being carried out using the ETL tools but with custom coding companies need to spend a lot of time in developing the data models the data flow diagrams and so on so ETL is not only ETL it's a lot more than that we have a bunch of different services and technologies that are coming on with ETL for example data profiling GUI based applications, data quality, you can establish business rules. Then we have data preparation, it's completely GUI based tool. Then we have ETL Studio for development of the integration jobs and solutions. Then we have ETL testing that's completely built in GUI based analyzer. And then we have deployment, scheduling and monitoring services. We have completely cloud based collaboration services. So with ETL you get this entire infrastructure and then companies don't need to put a lot of time in figuring out how to how to establish different flows uh, the different infrastructure components they have everything they can focus more on getting the job done and just defining the flows and defining the uh, the logic so in conclusion I would say if you are working on small data sets or small projects then maybe custom code is a good option 
but if you're working on big projects and large data sets which are quite complicated then going on with ETL tools is always the best option it literally makes the life easy so thanks a lot for watching the video subscribe and stay tuned